Hi guys, this is Rena, and today I am unboxing Orange Glad. And just quickly for those of you who might have never heard of Orange Glad before or are interested in more information on it, this is a food subscription or snack subscription service, and these are all handcrafted artisanal sweets made by small companies and stuff like that. So these are not um, big box store um, sweets and stuff that you can get at Walmart and everywhere else. So um, in a way it sort of stinks because if you really fall in love with something you definitely have to order it online. Um, I really have been loving this subscription. I've been subscribed for like a year and I really have loved every box except for the last two. So with the last two box being pretty eh, I did cancel and also the price went up by a lot. I used to pay um, $17 a month and now it's up to $22 so um, it's definitely getting a little more unaffordable so I really wish they hadn't um, upped their prices because then I probably would have stayed subscribed. Um, but if this month's box is like absolutely amazing I might resub um, but like I said it's $22 a month for um, people who are already subscribed when they put their price up and for new subscribers it's $25 a month which in my opinion is definitely too high so this is July 2016 and this box is pretty heavy so I'm excited to see what's in here and they always send um, a little pamphlet like with information about the companies and stuff like that so the, I see this big thing okay so this is organic hard candy and it looks like it's in the pomegranate and nectarine flavors. Where are my scissors? I'm trying to open this. Okay, yes, I actually lost my scissors, so I kind of confiscated my mother's scissors. Um, but I'll open this up and show you guys what it looks like. And maybe I'll taste it while I am opening up some other stuff. I usually don't taste any of the stuff, but here's the little candies. And I really do love pomegranate, so hopefully these taste really good. I mean, not the most exciting thing you can get in a box, but still not bad. So here's what they look like. They look like little cough drops. Um, oh, wow. Okay, so they do taste really good. And this is Tori and Howard, which I've never heard of that company before. And it's organic. So that's cool. And then the next thing in here is some honey lavender shortbread cookies. Honey, I'm good with. Lavender, eh, I don't know. One time they sent these rose water tea biscuit cookies and they were just awful. Okay, sometimes flowers should just stay in the garden and not be in cookies because it was so gross. But I will give these a try. I really do love shortbread cookies, so hopefully I really like these. Oh, there's something right here that I can't even, oh my god, what is this? This is like a giant s'mores biscotti. That's what it looks like to me. I will check, um, I will check the pamphlet. Okay, it is a s'mores biscotti. This is inspired... By the classic can, uh, candies, marshmallows, and chocolates carried by the candy store. These were designed in collaboration with Orange Glad and local pastry chefs. Crispy chocolate and graham cookies are topped with a fudgy layer of burnt marshmallow. Enjoy as it is or try dipping in coffee, milk, or hot chocolate or tea, which is not mentioned. Um, for a unique take on a classic summer treat. That sounds amazing. It sort of seems like I'm gonna have to resub, guys. So here's a, a cookie, which looks really good, but I have no idea what kind of cookie it is. So thankfully they send this little um, thing. So, okay, here it is. This is by The Cravery, and I'm not gonna read all of this, but this is a salted caramel cream cookie made with The Cravery's in-house salted caramel infused with vanilla chips. Oh, that's what I see right there. I thought it was, like, chocolate. Um, and finished with sea salt sprinkles. The soft, moist cookie was truly crafted in cookie heaven. Your mouth probably is screaming for milk without even tasting it, so we recommend a tall, chill glass of it alongside. Okay, I'm excited to try this, but I will not be eating it with milk because I absolutely hate milk. And this definitely seems like a nice, thick, chewy cookie. It's not, like, really hard or crispy or anything. And then this is the last item in here, which is humongous. 
and this is a whimsy and spice oh they, they sent two things from the same company okay and these are brownies espresso dolce de leche so we don't eat coffee i mean we don't drink coffee in this house so hopefully the um espresso flavor is not too strong but let's see if i can find okay here's the brownies i hope i like them because they look really good Decadent and rich chocolate brownie is flavored with espresso and drizzled with freshly made dolce de leche. So hopefully it doesn't taste too coffee-ish. I do actually drink coffee um, sometimes, but not often. So that's everything that came in this month's orange glad box. Um, do I think it's worth $25? No, I don't. But I do think it is a really good subscription box. Um... If you have the extra cash and are looking for a good subscription service that has food, they always have sent really good stuff. I did did not like the last two months' boxes. They were awful. Um, but this month looks pretty amazing. Sorry, guys. I'm still sucking on that candy, which really originally tastes like pomegranate. But then after you suck on it for a few seconds, it mostly just tastes like nectarine, which is okay. It still tastes good. I really like nectarines. I actually have one just sitting here right here. Um... And then I'm getting ready to eat soon. So that's everything that came in this month's box. And if you guys want any more information, you can just head over to www.orangeglad.com. I'll leave that down in the subscription bar as well as all my um, links and any coupon codes or anything that I find for this. Um, I do think I would have stayed subscribed if they had um, not upped their price so much. And I'll... Maybe if, since I was a subscriber, if I resubscribe and I only have to pay $22, I'll probably check out next month's, just because this month seemed really good. Um, but if I have to resubscribe at the $25 price point, I won't do it, just because that's too much in my opinion. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and that's everything that came in this month's box, including a little pamphlet. And if you guys did, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And thanks for watching. And there will still be more unboxings to come with different subscriptions that I subscribe to. So thanks guys for watching and bye for now.